This video is going to show you how to get all 30 SIVA clusters. Before starting, it's a good idea to have a bunch of splicer keys piled up because a lot of these you can get in patrol, but you have to go to areas where you need to use a splicer key to unlock that area. And if you don't know, you get splicer keys from killing the brood mothers and the brood knights around the plague lands and killing SIVA in general. So to start off, boot up the first mission in the Rising Iron Campaign, King of the Mountain. And after these gondola doors get blown off, we are going to be grabbing the SIVA Cluster 2.9. In the description, I'll have a time marker for each SIVA Cluster. So if you're looking for just one in particular, you can check that out in the description and you can skip ahead in the video. Okay, so that is 2.9. And then we are going to continue on with this mission. And you're going to come to Fellwinter's Peak, the social space, and you got to defeat Sepkis. So when you're doing this, there's going to be ads that are going to come in. And there's going to be a ship. The first ship will spawn on your left. Ignore that ship and that will drop off ads. So two ships spawn, one on the left. And then the second ship, this will spawn right here in front of you. When this spawns in, you need to jump on top of it. And we're going to ride this to the SIVA cluster. If you die, that's perfectly fine. These ships will continue to spawn. So if you do die on this jump, no worries. Just have to wait for the second ship to spawn in. And we're going right there. We're going to hop on top of that. So the ship will take you right over there. And you're just going to have to time your jump up. We'll take you right by this little pillar or whatever this might be. And this is SIVA Cluster 3.0. Next, go into the mission. The walls come down. And when you spawn in, head to the right. We're heading up to the big catch. Once you reach the ship, head to the second level on the left side. And you will find SIVA Cluster 1.9 in the wall. After you grab this, head back outside, and before continuing on, you're going to head to the right, and SIVA Cluster 1.3 is hidden down here in the back of the debris. There are a ton of SIVA Clusters on this mission's route. We're going to be grabbing quite a bit. After you grab this one, follow the arrow. The arrow will take you all the way out to the divide. Once you are out in the divide, you need to head over to the dead spider walker, and this is Cluster 2.0 right by the gun. Once you grab this one, turn around, and we're heading over here. There's going to be one nestled in the broken underpass. It's right there. You're going to have to grab it as you're jumping by it. And that was cluster 2.1. Next, hop on your sparrow, and we're going to dock 13. And this will be giving you cluster 2.2. Just cut through this. Cut through all these enemies. Ignore these guys. It's going to be right off to your left. Once you get that, head back. Out to the divide, follow your arrow if you are lost, if you're new to the game. Come back out to the divide, we're heading this way, just follow my path. The arrow will want to take you to the right, ignore that. We are heading like we would be towards Septus Prime. Hop off your sparrow right here, and there's a cluster nestled in behind this little iPad. And that is cluster 1.7. We're going to keep heading like we would doing the Septus Prime strike. Head up here. Get stuck on my sparrow. Try to stay on your sparrow as long as possible. It's going to save you running time. Just cutting through here. We're heading to the little down hive ship. Or I don't know if it's a hive ship. I don't even know what the heck this thing is. And this is going to be cluster 2.5. Just head in here. And it's on the back of whatever this is. Once you grab this, head to the left. We're heading out to where the spider walker spawns. Just keep on the Septus Prime's strike path. It's a lot of running. It's a long ways. Once you get out here, we're heading to the left side. We're going to go up into this room. This is one of the ones where you will need a splicer key unless you're doing this on the strike. So I'm not doing this in the strike. If you were in the strike, you wouldn't have to use a splicer key. But they're not really hard to get, so um, you shouldn't really be too worried about burning through a couple of them. So after clearing out ads, head over to these lockers on the left-hand side of the room. And there will be a SIVA cluster tucked into the bottom locker right there. And this is cluster 2.4. After grabbing that, head back outside, jump past these enemies. And there is a SIVA cluster tucked in behind this pole. And this is SIVA cluster 2.3. Next, boot up the mission where you are disabling the three huge guns. I believe I remember this being the Plague Lands mission. And head over to the rightmost gun in the SIVA cluster. It is on top of the barrel. This is SIVA cluster 1.8. 
Next, boot up the story mission, download complete. Once you are in the final room, you will have these three posts with the TV monitors on it. You need to hop to the right post with the TVs and cluster 3.2 will be behind this monitor. Next, boot up Plague Lands Patrol. Right when you spawn in, there is one right in front of you, tucked in behind these wires. It will be right there. This is SIVA Cluster 1.4. After grabbing that, hop on your Sparrow. Head to the right. We're going to be going to the Giant's Husk area. Keep to the right of the ship. We're going to head all the way over here to this busted down ship. SIVA Cluster 1.1 is at the very front. After you grab that, hop back on your Sparrow and head back towards the little broken half of the ship. You can get this one in the story mission where you're, you know, transferring the two orbs uh, if you don't want to use a splicer key. But if you're doing it in patrol like we're doing it right now, you do need a splicer key. Once using your splicer key, you're going to head over to the right, ignoring all these ads. And this is cluster 1.2. After grabbing this, head back outside, hop on your sparrow and keep to the right. We're heading towards the Archon's Forge. You can get these next four clusters in the final mission of the campaign if you're not doing it in patrol like we are now again we're going to have to use a splicer key so if you're wanting to hold on to those just hop into the final mission instead of in patrol once we're in archon's forge head over to this left upper deck area head back in here and this is cluster 1.0 after you grab that we're going to keep heading down just keep heading down cut through all this stuff Cut through the warrens, ignore all these ads. It's a long ways, getting your sprint on. Once we reach site six, this is where we'll have to use a splicer key. Once you reach this room, just clear out all the ads. Once you do that, hop up to this monitor and see the cluster 2.8 is hiding behind it. Once we grab that, keep heading down, keep heading down. We're continuing on past the SIVA spider walker. Once we land down here, we're going to be heading to our left. This is going to be cluster 2.6. There is a far cave over here. Keep heading past all the way back here. There's a far cave and the cluster is on your right. After you grab this, head back up and we're going to be heading, continuing on that last mission in the campaign's path. So we're just cutting through all this. It is a very, very long run. I wish you could activate your sparrow down here. Cutting through all this. Feel like we're running the 10,000 meters. Running all the way past here. And the SIVA cluster is going to be behind this left column of SIVA. And this is cluster 27 for these next four clusters, I would go into the Wretched Eye Strike, though you can get this one in patrol. If you're going to patrol in the Plague Lands, just head to your left, and it's the first area you will reach, which is the Bunker Treglav. Treglav. Head up here, and it is hiding behind this computer monitor. This is cluster 1.5. If you were in the Plague Lands for that one patrol, you have to go to the Wretched Eye Strike for these next three. Once the doors open in the strike, head to the left and use the left side to make your way up to this third level. This is going to be cluster 1.6. Once hopping up here, you need to loop around and it's nestled right there in the corner. Later on the strike, there will be different silo rooms and they have numbers. There's number one. You saw the big one. This is silo one. We're heading for silo three. Again, the numbers are on the wall. Once you reach silo three, you need to hop up right here, and the SIVA cluster will be nestled on the roof. Just give you an example of me getting it on my Titan. I had already gotten it on my Hunter, but if you're on a lower level, you just got to hop up. We are, again, still in silo 3. This is where this cluster is at, and this is cluster 3.3. The next cluster is 3.4, and it is in silo 4. We are currently in silo 2. Again, the numbers will be huge and they will be on the walls to let you know. The strike will take you to each silo. So from silo 2, kind of heading to the right a little bit, and now we are in silo 4. This cluster is trickier to get. Once you're in silo 4, we need to head up. We're going all the way up there, but those platforms along the wall will break away once you jump onto them. 
So if you are going to do the platforms, which I do in this video, you got to be quick about it. We're going to go to that platform that will break. And then we got to go to the second platform. If those break away, you can use some of the wall, like little pieces are poked out that you can stand on and you can use those to climb up to the cluster if these break. So here we go. This will break away. The cluster is tucked in a little hole in the wall in the back. This one will break too. It's right there. So you got to be holding your square as you go by. It's really tough. And I jumped back up. And there you go. It's tough. You got to hold square going by. But if those break, just use the little pieces hanging off the wall. Next, you got to boot up the Septus Prime Strike. And I showed you those uh, couple clusters in the Plague Lance Patrol that you can get. You can also get those in this strike. This is cluster 3.5, and it's just tucked in behind this little walkway. Next up is cluster 3.1. You need to go to the Fellwinter's Peak social space. And this cluster is probably the one most likely to make you rage. We got to climb to the tip top of Fellwinter's Peak. This wolf's probably seen me about 15 times coming by him. He's wondering, dude, what are you doing? You scrub, you keep dying. So you got to climb to the top. I would suggest maxing out your agility. And the path is pretty straightforward. Like you'll pretty much be able to see where to go. There are a few tricky spots that are annoying. And if you die, you get kicked down to the very bottom of the mountain. So this is a tricky spot coming up right here. You need to sprint into this jump. So sprint into it. Whew, barely made it. You do get little checkpoints like after you get like past halfway and like up to like 70% of the way up. But there were times when I got like 80% of the way there and then died and then didn't get the checkpoint and had to start all over. So take your time. That would be my number one tip to doing this. Take your time. You see, I'm kind of rushing through because I've done this like 50 times now. This is another tricky spot. You need to jump to the right of this rock, the right side of it. Okay, here's in slow motion. You don't want to jump too close to the left because you'll get bumped off back down the mountain. Jump to the right of that rock. We have a tricky spot again coming up on this jump. You need to jump out and around. If you jump too close like I just did right there, you will bonk your head and it will send you back down the mountain. I lucked out and didn't die. Usually it sends you all the way back down and you die and then you got to start all over. So you need to kind of jump out to the left and jump around out to the left and around a little bit. Hopefully you don't bonk your head. We barely got it there. So that's a tricky spot. Just keep heading up. Keep heading up. Take it slow. Take it slow. This is another jump. Use your sprint to get into that. Okay, here's another tricky spot. So jump up here and just walk to your left. Walk to your, and you'll sit in a little dip right there. I sat down in the dip, then jump up. If you jump up from too far to the right, again, you will bonk your head. So, okay, jump to this. Don't sprint into that one. Just do a regular jump. If you have too much agility and you sprint into that, you can overshoot it. Just keep working up. We're pretty much home free from here on out. It is just taking it slow. Be careful, but we are done with the tricky spots. Just keep working up, keep working up. Slowly but surely, guys, that is how you're going to get this cluster. You're going to have to sprint to this one. There you go. And just hop up right there. We're almost to the top. If you died now, it should give you a checkpoint because we're almost to the top. But if it doesn't, I feel your pain. I've gotten up this high or a little bit lower than this and died, and it sent me all the way back to the bottom. I'm wondering, golly, are we almost to the top? I'm in climbing this mountain. I feel like I'm playing Skyrim over here. I need a horse to just vertically climb this thing. Okay, here we go. We're just keep hopping up, keep hopping up. Again, take your time, take your time. That's a fake out ledge. Don't jump to that ledge. That's a fake out. As I fall down, you want to head to the left. You can jump to the right ledge if you want to. But don't. It's just head to the left. So we're to that same spot we just were. We want to jump on this left ledge, not the right ledge. That right ledge is just an extra jump, an extra chance to fall, fake out ledge. I just cut here because I fell down a couple times, just kept sliding off the left side. So just working up. Ignore that right side. We're going to the left. Once you're here, we're almost there. We're like five feet from the top. As my hunter keeps sliding off this little rock here, come on, we're almost there. 
We're almost there. There we go. Okay, now the next spot is to your right, and we are sprint jumping to this. As I just take a quick look around, we're heading to the right. Sprint jump, and we're to the top. We finally made it. It took like 20 minutes, and here we go. Jeez Louise. The last four SIVA clusters are all in the raid before exiting the first jumping phase. So the exit is to my left. There is a little walkway that you can follow. So just follow my path. And you're going to go all the way to this back wall. This is SIVA cluster 3.8. It's quite a ways. And it's up there on your left. There's a little metal railing right here that you can hop up on. And once you're on there, you'll be able to hop up to the cluster. Cluster 3.9 is in the second jumping phase. Just make your way down. It's about halfway through the room. It's up on top. You can see where all my teammates are starting to gather. It's up there. You'll be able to hop up on, I don't even know what this would be considered. And there is a little ledge there, right there. So it's on top where the teammates are on top, but there's a little ledge in front of you if uh, you do miss the jump and I bonk my head on my hunter. You can kind of just hold square as you're going by and your guardian can grab it as I didn't get up top, but you see here, if you're slamming that square button, it pops up for a second, you'll be able to get it. Cluster 3.7 is right after the Mad Max Zamboni encounter. So after you get the chest, just hop over down here to the right. And the cluster is hidden back here underneath this big boulder. Cluster 3.6 is underneath the bridge. Once you enter this, I don't even know what this is like, it's like a server room. It's underneath the bridge. There will be some ads that spawn. You'll have to take them out, but it is tucked underneath the bridge. We died quite a bit trying to get to this one before we noticed that there's a little ledge. It's really, really dark and hard to see. So you see here, my teammate's throwing a nade so I can see exactly where the ledge is. There's the little ledge you will hop to first. And then there's a second ledge right by the SIVA cluster. That's all of them. I hope this video was helpful, guys. Have a good one. See ya.